Okay, let's talk about dividing decimals. Um, just like with multiplying decimals, um, the rules for multiplication and division are the same. If you have the same signs, you will get a positive answer. If you have different signs in the original problem, you will get a negative answer. And that's really important to remember. Same signs, positive answer, different signs, negative answer. Um, I know there's lots of rules, but uh, from addition and subtracting and comparing, you have a whole different set of rules. Um, and for multiplying and dividing, the rules are different as well. So if you can just keep in mind, if you have the same signs to start out with in your problem, you're gonna get a positive answer. Different signs, negative answer. And we're gonna see what that looks like. So let's say um, right now we have, uh, the same signs. Let's let's make these both negative actually. Okay? So we have a negative 6 divided by 1.2. Well, I, what I need to do to solve this is rewrite the problem. And um, I want you to try to keep in mind the first number that you see, he's kind of the top dog. That's what we call him. And the top dog goes into the doghouse all the time. So the first guy is the top dog, and the top dog goes in the doghouse. That's a good way of remember that, remembering he um, is placed underneath. Um, so. What we have to do next is the number on the outside has to be made into a whole number. So we're going to have to move this decimal over one. And even though we don't see this, we know this is a whole number. And if we were to have a number like six dollars, we know that decimal would have been right here. So if we move this over one to make this a whole number, we have to move this decimal over one to make, um, it, to make it equivalent, um, an equivalent equation. So we're going, to have, we're going to have to add in a zero there. Okay, so I'm going to uh, rewrite this now that we put a, a zero in our a dividend there. Um, let's just go ahead and not work in the scribble. Let's just rewrite this. 12 is going to get divided into now 60. And this is pretty straightforward division. Um, 12 goes into 60, actually you should know this, um, 12 times 5 is 60, so 12 times 5 is 60, um, and you get a 0. And again, we have a negative divided by a negative, so we will get a positive 5 as our answer. Okay, so that was a pretty easy one, but the rule is still going to be the same in every problem we do. We have to move the decimal over here to make it a whole number, and then we're going to do the same, move the same amount of spaces in the dividend as well, okay? Um, so let's do another problem. And so we have 60.102 divided by 6.3. I went ahead and I put the top dog, which is the first number, this top dog, I put him in the doghouse, right? And um, the next step that I'm going to do is simply just move my decimal over so that this number right here is a whole number. Okay, so I need to move this number once, and then I'm going to have to, uh, not this number, this decimal once, and I'm going to have to move this decimal once and add it in there. So now I'm going to rewrite that problem because it's kind of messy and we don't want that. So this becomes a 63, and 63 is going to get divided into 601.02. And now we have ourselves a division problem, basically. Um, okay, so let's do this. The first thing we want to do is put that decimal all the way up on top, right there. And then we're going to ask ourselves, how many times do you suppose 63 goes into 601? And well, if you could think about 63 times 10 would be 630, that would be a little too much. And if you can guess 9, you would be right. 63 times 9 is 537. And then we're going to go ahead, oh, sorry, 567. Sorry about that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the subtraction. Everything's moving. Okay, so we're going to do the subtraction, and we get a 34 here. Okay, and then we're going to bring down this number right here. We have 340, and then 63 into 340 goes about five times. So I'm going to put a five up there, and five times 63 
is 315. Okay, then we do our subtraction again. And when we subtract, we get a 25. And then we bring down our next number and we get 252, which is beautiful because four times 63 is exactly 252. We do the subtraction, we have no remainder. So our final answer there is um, 9.54. Now let's pretend we had a negative divided by a positive. I should have written that in first, I apologize. So if we had a negative divided by a positive, well, then our final answer would be negative 9.54 because we had different signs and that would lead us to have a negative answer. Okay, all right, let's do one more. Okay, and let's make these um, negative and a positive. So again, what would the rule be? A negative and a positive, they're different signs. I know I'm gonna get a negative answer, okay? So at the end, I'll be getting a negative answer. And um, I'm get, going to go ahead and put the top dog in the dog house here, and I, which I did already. And then I'm going to look at making this a whole number. So I have to move this over only one spot. Um, sometimes that decimal might be all the way over and you're going to have to count how many spaces to move over and then whatever spaces you counted here and moved, you're going to have to do the same thing on this side. So I moved only one space now and I'm only going to move one space here as well. So I'm going to rewrite that problem then. Um, it becomes 18 into um, 0 0.1 to six, which isn't too bad. I'm gonna put my decimal right up there, line it right up. And now 18 doesn't go into 12, so I'm going, 18 doesn't go into one or 12, so I'm gonna put two zeros, zeros over there. But we have 18 does go into 126, and quite perfectly, it goes in seven times. Seven times 18 is 126. Now you might have to play around with some numbers, but you'll get there, don't give up and you get um, your final answer. And now we know, because we had different signs, our final answer is going to be a negative. So negative, um, and actually you can write it a little zero in front, right? So it would be negative 0 0.007, which is, this is tenths, hundredths, thousandths, so it would be negative seventh south, ooh, negative, it would be, let me try that again, negative seven thousandths, okay? So that would be our final answer. Um, mistakes happen, obviously, um, but don't give up on division. I know a lot of people don't like division. It's really, once you get the rules and get the practice in, you'll really be okay. Just remembering to rewrite it correctly. The first number is the top dog, goes in the dog house, Move the decimals here, move the decimals here, put the decimal up on top, do the division, practice multiplication to get there, um, do the best you can and practice, 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 practice.